To be kind is the most powerful gift any one of us can possess, and Kate has it by the ton. Or if Rob was describing Kate, then she is as near perfect that anyone can be. And on this occasion only, I'd agree with Rob. <laughs> but whatever life has to throw at us, we're in it together. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I was so proud today, hang on a minute. <laughs> to walk my daughter down the aisle. It's not every bloke that gets the chance to do that, but I, I felt particularly proud. Now, I can't remember if it was our first meeting, but it was an early meeting uh, in, in the early days that uh, Christian and I met Sam when Kate, Kate and Sam came up to us at Christmas 2020, two years ago. And we, uh, we had Christmas Eve buffet on the patio. Because if you remember that year, there was no socializing indoors. But um, we, we were really impressed right from the start with Sam's genuine warmth and friendliness. And that year, Kate informed us that her friend Jen was getting engaged. Well, when Sam and uh, Kate left, I turned to Christy and I said, I wonder if next year that might be them. Well, of course, Christmas Eve 2021 came and Sam and I went to Midnight Mass and at the end of Mass, he gave me two camels <laughs> and asked if he could marry my daughter. <laughs> now, the, the point of this story is that the year before, somehow Christine and Sam had been talking about how many camels Kate might be worth. <laughs> And I'm sure we agreed on six. <laughs> and I have to say, Sam, I've never known Kate as happy as the day and since she met you. <laughs> There were five in the box, I should have bought another suit. <laughs> my beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. The cooing of dove is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. I, Samuel, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part, according to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God I make this vow, in the presence of God I make this vow, Kate, I give you this ring, <laughs> as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage, with my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. 
family, friends, on behalf of my wife and I. I'm sure you'll all agree with how stunning my wife looks today. I genuinely just wasn't as prepared as I thought when I saw you walk down the aisle. Thank you for putting up with me, for loving me, and for making me the happiest man on earth. Kate introduced me to a film a few months ago called About Time. And although the reference was about death, the sentiments of love between a man and a wife apply. And it goes like this. I am so, excuse the language, effing uninterested in a life without Kate. My wife, my somebody to do nothing with. with a trip to Alton Towers. Kate enjoyed the ride of her life and Sam used his pulling powers. I just want to say thank you for including me in the run-up to this day. You are such a kind and loving girl and I know that Sam will give you the world. Sorry. <laughs> so finally from me, the last thing to say is that I am bursting with pride. <laughs> I've got another cold. We've been there together through thick and through thin, and I honestly can't believe that you've pulled off this win. The day you found Kate, you had God on your side. There's not many others that will find a more suited bride. She's beautiful and caring, with a first-class degree. She's out of your league, mate. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> so please be upstanding for my final job to be done. Let's raise a toast to Mr and Mrs Hambleton.